Today I'm going to be talking about emerging trends in technology with a focus on a tool that is device agnostic and can be used for assessment purposes. These are tools that will engage your students while giving you necessary data to inform your instruction. Device agnostic tools make it unnecessary for each child in the classroom to have the same device. These tools can be accessed on tablets such as the iPad or Chromebooks or desktop computers. Pear Deck is an example of a device agnostic app that can be created right in Google Drive. I have been very impressed with the functionality of this app as well as how it engages students. So I'm going to start out just showing you what it looks like for students to join a Pear Deck presentation in, um, for active participation. So Parts of a Plant is the name of my Pear Deck and I have four students that are going to be logging in. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Let's Go. Some of my students are on iPads, some are on Chromebooks. So I'm going to start my presentation and I'm going to give them a code to join my session. So I'll open session. The code for this session is G Z Q E I G Z Q E I so I can see right over in the corner right here that three of my students have already joined the session and we're waiting on one more and there she is all right so we are ready to begin so I'm going to go ahead with the first question the first question is a text answer just simply asking what is your name obviously I already know all of their names because they're logged in but just showing what it looks like to have the students respond with the text and I can see when they get their answers posted and so I have one so far Okay, and then I'm going to keep moving on so you can see the other types of questions. The next one is a drawing question. So in this case, I'm asking the students to draw a picture of a plant, including the roots, stem, and leaves. And as they're drawing their picture, I can see right over on the left side of the screen um, the students as they are drawing their sketch. So I could be looking for each part of the plant and that's a fun way to assess. Next kind of question is a draggable question. This one I'm asking students to drag the blue dot to the roots of the plant and I can see right here that Mallory Tyson is able to find the roots of the plant and John Vocek is experimenting with the draggable dot. <clears throat> All right, next question. Next question is an embedded YouTube video. So right here on the student screen, they simply see the question, what is one thing you learned about plants? And then they have a large text box. So I can switch my view to projector view right here. And now as a class, we are going to watch the YouTube video that I have embedded about plants. So as they're watching the video, they are going to kind of take notes in their paragraph text box. And then I will be able to see in my session dashboard what their notes are. Okay, so Isaac says plants are great. And I have a response from Mallory Tyson. Plants are all around us. So that's an example of just watching a video and then answering questions as you go along. So there's all sorts of options to um, use as different ways of assessing. So now I'm going to give you a quick overview of how you actually create a Pear Deck presentation for your classroom. So if we go to paradeck.com, I will log in as a teacher and create a new deck. Let's go. 
and it's simply a matter of creating new slides. So I create a new slide and then I just choose what type. You saw an example of a draggable slide where I can just ask my question here, um, where is precipitation? And then I can add an image of the water cycle and students would drag their draggable dot to where they see precipitation in the water cycle. And I'm not sure where that image went, but I'll just keep moving on. But you can just add an image there and then put your question here. You can also choose the color of the dot that you want, or if you want it to be a line, um, horizontal or vertical. Then I can add a new slide. This time I will do a multiple choice slide. Um, which stage is snow? So then here I could write um, condensation or precipitation. Or evaporation. So that would be another example of a multiple choice. Can add a new slide and it could be a free response text. Just like name one stage of the water cycle. Oops. Okay, I'm just gonna move on. So that would be another example of a new slide. And then the freehand drawing, I think, is a really great option for um for assessment too. So draw the water cycle. And then um, students would be able to draw the water cycle. So that's just an example of how you create um, the pear deck. And then if I wanted to actually have a group start to take it, then I would just click on start presenting. And um, there's three different views. So open the session dashboard and then there's the code that I would give to my students. So it's a pretty um, engaging way for them to assess their learning and for me to under, um, get their understanding. Um, so just some other options besides Pear Deck, there's Socrative and Nearpod, um, just kind of focusing on one of the device agnostic tools for assessment at this time. I think these device agnostic apps really engage students and hold them accountable through real-time data. I believe apps like Pear Deck are game changers in the classroom and are redefining teaching and learning.